Hi everyone, it's Zinnia here. Today I wanted to show you how to make collectible items in Scratch. You might have a game or a project and you want the player to be able to walk around and collect objects, and this tutorial will show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started! So first, let's pick a main character for your project. You can just hover over this button that says choose a sprite and click choose, and you could pick absolutely any main character you'd like. Maybe I'll pick Ben. And I'll also choose a background. Maybe I will pick the forest. You could pick anything you want. Now let's add an item that this character can collect. And you can pick any item that you'd like to have. Maybe I'll pick the star. So let's start by making it so that when you click on the item, it plays a sound. And the way you can do that is go to the sound category and drag out this block, start sound, and this will play a sound. And you can make the sprite do this every time it's clicked on by going to the events category and dragging out this block when this sprite clicked. So now, every time I click on the sprite, it plays a sound. Now, let's make it so that when I click on the star to collect it, it disappears. So you can go to the looks category. And if you scroll down, there are these blocks show and hide. And if you drag these out, this block hide will make a sprite disappear. And this block show will make it appear. So what we could do is make it so that when the sprite is clicked, it starts the sound and then hides. So disappears when you collect it. And to make it show up again, we can say that when the green flag is clicked, show. So let's try that. Okay, nice. So the star reappears when we restart the game. Now let's make it so that instead of clicking on the item to collect it, the, the item gets collected when the main character walks up to it and then the item disappears. So to do that, first let's make it so that this main character can move when we press the arrow keys. So to make a character move, you can just go to the motion category. And if you scroll down, there's this block, change X by 10. And that will make a character go this way. And if you change X by negative 10, the character goes this way. So we can make it so that when the right arrow key is pressed, the character goes this way. And when the left arrow key is pressed, the character goes that way. And we could do something very similar with making the character go up and down. But if we go back to the motion category, you can drag out this block, change Y by 10, and that will make a character go up. So we can make that happen when the up arrow key is pressed. And you can change Y by negative 10 when the down arrow key is pressed. Okay, great. Now we have a character who can move with the arrow keys. Now let's make it so that when the character runs into the item, the item gets collected. So let's click on the star and when the green flag is clicked, let's make the star wait until the Ben sprite runs into it, which you can use this block that says touching to detect that. And after the Ben sprite runs into the star, that's when we can make it do this whole play the sound collect and hide. And we can now get rid of this when this sprite clicked block because we're not going to use that anymore. So let's try that out. So the Ben sprite runs into the star and then it gets collected because the star waits until the Ben sprite runs into it. And then once that happens, it does all of this. Oh, and let's also make it so that the star goes to a random position every time the game starts. So let's click the green flag and test that out. Yeah, so now every time the star goes somewhere different and you can always collect it. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you have fun making items. I'll see you next time.
and scratch on. <laughs>